Hi folks, we're here with the Volling Sterling project update to give you an overview of where the engine design is, what it looks like, and how things are shaping up. And so without further ado, here we go to introduce the Volo, uh, Volo 1. And uh, on this presentation, we'll take you through uh, what it looks like, what are the components that make it uh, make up it, and a little bit of uh, animation and uh, what's behind some of the calculations. The Volo 1 is 5 feet high and about 10 inches diameter. Let's talk about some of the features of it looking at a cross-sectional view. Looking at the cross-sectional view, you'll see up at the top in red is the heat, uh, heat end of the engine. That'll be made out of aluminum. In the middle is the displacer in the brown. That also will be an aluminum component. <clears throat> And you'll see also how it interfaces up at the top. Down below, you'll see is the cold section of the engine in blue, in addition to the piston at that location, which is green. Both those parts will be aluminum. In the bottom, you'll see the kinematics, which will be done in steel. And off to the left is a, a flywheel, although that's really just a placeholder. Um, one of the key components of the Volo 1 is basically how we transfer or how we preheat and pre-cool the uh, air that's traveling back and forth between the hot end and the cold end. And we use a series of fins for this. And what the fins do is they allow us to um, um, efficiently transfer the heat and uh, cold out to and into the air as it shuttles back and forth between the hot zone and the cold zone. So this whole area here, and also in the cold zone where the uh, fins go into the piston from the displacer, are really the uh, secret sauce for the Volo 1 engine, so to speak. <clears throat> they allow us to um, preheat and pre-cool the air without adding any dead space into the engine compartment, which is key for, uh, for power. Okay, now let's look at it in animation. Here we just have a few frames from the CAD simulation and it gives you just an idea of the cycle and you can see the phasing of the yeah. displacer at some different speeds. Um, just give you an idea of um, how it runs. And this is what we'll be using for our stress testing and things of that sort, which is coming next. In addition, uh, our power calculations as far as what the output of the engine is going to be coming from, we use um, this uh, spreadsheet, which is just uh, we found on the Internet at uh, solar engines, uh, solarheatengines.com. Great resource, lots of good information. And then, in addition to the power calculations, we do the kinematic uh, calculations for determining the stroke of the displacer and the uh, piston, uh, with them being 90 degrees out of phase using this uh, homegrown um, calculator here. Still to come is our testing. Uh, both uh, strength testing of the kinematic links and uh, thermal testing of the engine. We'll be filling you in with more updates. Thanks again for your support. See you.